Hello friends, in this video we will discuss, how to study the underground water tank drawing easily. This will help you while doing job as a civil site engineer on site. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe, Civil Engineering Basics. Let's start by discussing the title box. Title box should be the first thing which is seen before moving on directly to the drawing. Title box is given on bottom right side of drawing sheet. As you can see this is the underground water tank reinforcement details drawing and on bottom right corner there is a title box. We will discuss also that why title box is so important in any drawing. In title box, first of all see the drawing title. In this drawing you can see the drawing title is structural detail of underground water tank. Which means this is the drawing of underground water tank showing structural details. Now see the drawing number, in here it is given in the bottom. It is 1140 water tank 01. 01 means drawing number 1, and sheet number 1 out of 2, means there is total 2 drawing other which are divided into 2 sheets. By viewing this detail you can confirm that this drawing is latest drawing. If drawing is revised by structural engineer and you are using old drawing then it will lead to bad practice, so always use latest revised drawing. Notes are very important in any structural drawing. In every structure drawing notes are given. In this structure design, notes is given in right side of drawing. Notes will give the information of reinforcement covers, grade of concrete, about development length, etc. Details of notes are as below. First, unless specified use M30 grade of concrete, for water retaining structure. It means that for this water tank M30 grade of concrete should be used. Second is unless specified, use FE500 grade of steel. Third note is about overlapping of bars of various diameters. As you can see here for 8 mm diameter overlapping should be 460 mm, and for 20 mm diameter overlapping should be 1000 mm, overlapping of reinforcement is very important. Fourth note is about covers to reinforcement, in vertical wall 45 mm cover is given, and in bottom slab cover is 50 mm, all other parts covers are also given and all other general notes are given. First of all we will study the corner, A, detail of drawing. We will see one by one details of reinforcements. First we will see the horizontal reinforcement, in here it is 10 mm diameter at 150 mm center to center on both face. It mean reinforcement should be placed on both outer side and inner side of wall. Now we will see the corner bar, marked with red. Corner bar given here is 10 mm diameter and at the 150 mm center to center as given in drawing, with 45 degree bends. This corner bar must be placed at as per given in drawing. Now we will see the extra steel detail. Extra steel is given 10 mm diameter with 150 mm center to center, 
with one leg 1,900 mm and second leg 1,250 mm with 90 degree bend given as per drawing. As showing drawing we can see that extra steel is placed in inner side of wall. We have got only horizontal reinforcement detail from plan A corner detail drawing. All horizontal reinforcement, extra bars, corner bars, and main bars details are available. Now for vertical reinforcement detail we have to read other part of drawing, let's see that. By viewing other part of drawing, we found details of vertical reinforcement. Vertical reinforcement is given 10 mm diameter, with 150 mm center to center, on both face, inside and outside face. We have got both vertical reinforcement detail and horizontal reinforcement detail of corner A. Now we will find out the reinforcement detail of corner B, which is dividing wall of water tank in two parts. We will find the extra bars reinforcement and corner bars at this corner. You can see the corner bar detail given in drawing. It says that corner bar should be 10 mm diameter with 150 mm center to center, this bar is horizontal corner bar. It is 1900 mm long with 180 degree bend. Now let's see the 2725 mm long extra bar reinforcement. Extra bar should be 10 mm diameter with 150 mm center to center with length 2725 mm. As you can see the drawing, this extra bar is placed at inside face of vertical wall. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics